not many people think of steelhead when they think of Lake Superior. You know, it's one of those fish that you, you think of west coast, you think of their, the native grounds of, of the steelhead. But in 1895, the steelhead was actually brought from the west coast and, and shipped to Lake Superior. You look at especially Lake Superior, it's, it's among one of the, 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 probably the cleanest lake in the world. I mean, you look, you can see down 30 feet or more in some spots, all the way down to the bottom. And the tributaries are clear, oxygenated, fast flowing streams. And there's just beautiful gravel flats for, for steelhead to spawn on. Is it rolling? It's rolling, it's rolling. I'll tell you what, that river looks pretty darn nice. Pound for pound, they're probably the best freshwater fighting fish, and that's really correlated with their beauty. Can we find a helpful Can we find a And when you find the places you find them. The places where they where they reproduce naturally, where they're no longer even stocked, where they've they've kind of put down a foothold. I mean, it's really it's 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 a really great adoptive story of how that how that fish made its way to the Great Lakes. I mean, I wonder what was the thought of the first person that caught a steelhead in the stream. Like, they're here. It worked. They're using the lake as the ocean. Should we just talk like we're talking to each other? <laughs> You're the man. Yeah, I'm tired of talking to the damn camera. We should just be walking, and you walk behind us, and me and you will be talking to each other. Well, we just got to pretend like he's not even there. That's what I do anyway. <laughs> Water's low. I mean, it's not too low, but like, I don't know. We either gotta go way like down, Eric or we gotta go way up. Like Eric was saying, they don't want to move through that down there if they don't have to. Right. There's plenty of spawning ground down there. There's plenty of spawning ground up. There is. We either got to go down or up, like you said. I think we should go down. Let's go down first. Fish down for a while, have lunch, and then we can fish up. Find them. We got to find them. Let's find the walleye. <laughs> <laughs> we got to find the walleye. That was actually good. Like hold on, hold on. Hope you enjoy this song I'm about to sing. It's a cover. So, uh, <laughs> Loud thunder, heavy rain, thin line between joy and pain. It's a long, strange trip, it's all insane. It ain't ever gonna be the same. Living life through the night, thin line of a lightning strike. Creeping up when things are good. Yeah, the dark will find a way. Loud thunder, heavy rain. It's all in the same. It ain't ever gonna be the same. Living life through the night, in the line of a lightning strike. 
sometimes the only light the moon's tucked away. Okay, one more time, I'm gonna do something, one more thing. Ready? Okay. Well, another spring steelhead run has come and gone, and you know, there's so much anticipation and adrenaline you get in those last couple of days and those last that last week or so leading up to when you know the run's close and you're just waiting for that first feeling of the setting hook in one of those wild lakes pure steelhead and there's there's no feeling like it and it sure didn't let us down this year we had an awesome awesome season and sure lived up to everything that lake superior steelhead fishing is is known to be we're just uh taking a hike down the river to fish a hole we've done pretty well in the past and we're looking at this bend here and it's, it's kind of nice when the water's lower like this, you can actually kind of see um, where the fish might hold up where you, you normally can't see it because the water's up. And right now you can look in the water and you can see the little sand ridges and the little pockets that they might hold up in. So it's, it's, a good, it's almost a good learning tool for us when the water's lower like this and maybe the fish aren't here, but it gives us the opportunity to um, really learn the river a little bit better. And we're just trying to take a little bit of time here and. Um, make a little mental note about these little pockets so we can come back and fish them later when the water's when the water levels are good and the fish are in here so you know it's it's really hard to beat that that peaceful feeling you have when you're you're standing in the river and there's no one around you and you get good consistent drifts going you can feel bottom nice and you can hear the water rushing over the rocks and the wind in the trees and it's just such a just such a, a quiet moment and then you Fish, hey! Just hooked up here, about 10th drift. Looks like a nice one. It's hard to feel bottom because it's not those defined rocks like we're used to. And you can just kind of feel it dragging through the sand. It kind of just feels like you're dragging on some sandpaper or something, and he smoked it. Really defined hit, that was cool. You don't usually feel that. You usually just feel like you get snagged up, and this one really cranked it. It's a nice fish, Torn. That is unreal. Can you see that? That's unreal. Wrapped up. Get out there. I have to nip this one in the bud. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> wow, did that fish have some bite to land one of these fish after experiencing all that. And then I've said it before and I'll, I'll say it again, just that, that amazing feeling of holding on to one of these amazing creatures and just that pure joy, that feeling of joy you have to hold on to one of these and then let it go back and know that you can get to experience that again with that fish is it's just a, an unmatched feeling. Just letting this fish go a little bit of a breather here. She, she put up an awesome, awesome fight. Just getting her some air, water, I guess. Gonna let her go here, she's strong. She's kicking right now, so. Okay.
You know, the season sure has ups and downs, just like they all do. And oh, it's a giant! Woo! It's a giant! Um, those fish we lost, and we definitely lost. I definitely lost a couple, and I know, I know for sure one was a dandy. Dude, just flying out of the That's water. That's a big fish, man. That's a big fish. <laughs> Torin just said, I, was, I almost was, gave up on the spot, and Torin goes, flip it across in that darker stuff for a second. First drift. This thing is way down there. That's a big fish, man. I don't know what to do. Let's go. Oh, no! No! The way it goes sometimes. He was rolling and stuff in there. I was trying to catch up to him. Dude. I think my line got caught on that bush right there by that did rock. Did you see that fish? Yes, I saw the fish. It that was, was a bigger tank. than that one up there. Well, yeah. Yeah. That was a tank. You should have seen it jump out of the water. I wish you would have had that. I saw it. No, I, I mean, know. I wish I saw it. Yeah. But those, those unsuccessful moments are more than matched by the, by the fish we land. And um, just that, that feeling you get when you hold on to them, it's, it's just, it just takes it all away. And um, there's no, no greater thing than getting to enjoy what you do and be in this beautiful country and um, being able to be with all your, all your best buddies and surrounded by a community of people who shares the same passion as you do and getting to talk to these people and share stories. And all right, looks like they're going to make us hike for them today. Unreal. Got our first look here at the upper branch. If I can pull a steelhead out of here, I'll be the happiest man on earth. Absolutely gorgeous. I just want to stand here and look at it. With each passing spring, we <clears throat> set the bar for the next year and what we need to improve on and what we need to work on, you know, as fishermen as well as what we need to learn, you know, what what information about the weather, the river, the fish, that, you know, all of those factors that play into whether or not we're gonna be successful come hook, line, and sinker time. And, you know, I think we, we, we really did a good job of it this year of paying attention to the weather, you know, being at the river when, when, the times were permitting and it brought us m much success this spring and it it showed in the action that we did have so we got a little wet in the process but oh <laughs> nice fish <laughs> How's that feel? That was, that was a nice fish, man. That's a rocket, man. That's what we needed. Nice job, man. You know, I think this this spring really was a a, a year to remember. You know, I'm not a. I'm not a fisheries biologist. I don't work for the DNR. But as an angler, I can tell you there's something special about this lake. And there's something for certain I can tell you is that we've only scratched the surface of what it's actually capable of.